So in this talk, I'm going to say conceptually what the chain rule for partial differentiation says when you have a bunch of inputs, a bunch of intermediates and a bunch of outputs. The way it's going to work is you have these inputs, you have intermediates. So each intermediate is a function of the inputs. Maybe some of them, maybe all of them. We just assume each intermediate depend is a function of all the inputs. Okay. And then each output is a function of all the intermediate variables. Okay. And now the goal is you want to figure out how, what is say a partial derivative of one of the output variables with respect to one of the input variables. Okay. So, so the input variables are the independent ones. They're the ones which sort of come from outside and then the intermediate variables depend on them. Output variables depend on the intermediates and therefore indirectly on the inputs. So we have to figure out what is the partial of an output variable. with respect to an input variable. So, what do you think we should do? What do you think we should do? Sir? We should... Well, I'll give you a start. You have to sum up over all intermediate variables. So, this is a specific output variable. Like you have chosen one output variable and I've chosen one input variable. So you can ignore the like other inputs, other outputs are not directly done. So it's a sum over all intermediate variables of what? That would be just the partial derivative of the output variable with respect to the intermediate variables. Mm -hmm. Times? Times the derivative of the in intermediate variables with respect to inputs. Yeah, well. So where the sum is over intermediate variables, so, so at each, each sum and you'll just be looking at one particular intermediate variable. Yeah. Okay. So, okay, I'll write it first more conceptually. It's, it's the derivative, it's the partial of, and this is a more concept, and then we'll be we'll writing the form you're suggesting. Of the output the specific output variable here with respect to the input via the intermediate. So we've chosen an intermediate and then we are just telling I create the partial via that. Okay. Now what what is this what is it actually going to be? These I'll just elaborate on what these are. Summation over all intermediate variables. Variables of partial of the output with respect to the intermediate times the partial of the intermediate with respect to the so it's another partial input well okay so i should say something so so these i'm using partial as a general thing now if it so happens that the intermediate that the that it's actually in these are there's actually just one variable right if if it so happens that there's just one input variable then that will actually just become an ordinary derivative. Okay. So uh, ordinary derivative you can think of as a special case of the partial derivative okay. where there's nothing else. So in some cases these these partials will become ordinary. First, if there's only one overall input variable, this becomes an ordinary derivative. So does so do these things. But I'm just writing because that's the general way you think about it. Okay. So so this this cap so it's a sum of these in, these things we are there. And the way to think about it, uh, sort of in a tree family, you have all these inputs. Right? You have all these intermediates and you have all these outputs. And for each, so you have fixed an input and you fixed an output. So now you're, you're concerned about sort of how each of the intermediates depend on the input you fixed and how the output depends on each of the intermediates. And for each such pathway, you have to figure out the, the partial via that and the partial via that using the sort of chain rule type of thinking, it's just the product of these uh, partials. Okay?